we have the, the questions we always wrap up every interview with. We call okay. The bitter questions. It's sort of our James Lipton thing. And uh, let's just run through these right here with you. What scene are you most proud of that you've written? I think it was, again, that scene in, um, that no one's ever seen um, uh, 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 in the Wedding Chapel pilot that was this montage of all these eight characters, ten characters was, that really landed their emotional truth. And that, you know, had its, had its um, roots in that great, that great and weird singing scene from Magnolia where you went around and everyone was singing. It was, it was in that vein of, of, of one emotional moment that, that ten characters shared. It was really fantastic. And it's on a DVD at my house if you'd like to come see it. What scene would you most like to rewrite? Um, there was a scene in a pilot of mine um, uh, where the, it, it was about a woman who was... Uh, um, I, I was doing a version of Lear set in a law firm in Chicago. And uh, the, lead, the lead of the show was this young woman who had gotten pregnant many years ago by one of the three sons in this law firm. And... Um, she was going back to tell him that one of them, that, that the son was hers, and one thing leads to another, she gets hired by them, and so on. But there was this scene early on where they're on the train, we shot it in Chicago, and the kid says something like, he's asking about his parentage, and then at one point he says, so is that when I came out of your vagina? And this older, the, the scene was written, so this older woman looked at her, and the lead character says, look, come on, it's a medical word. And we shot it, and then as we were ready to wrap up, I realized that, that she should have yelled at the entire train. There was a whole train full of people. So instead of yelling at this one woman, it's a medical world, she should have yelled, it's a medical world to everybody, which would have gotten the comedy and which would have really cemented the pilot off the bat as to where we were. So, and at one point, so it's less about writing and more about the fact that on the day when the AD said to me, do you want to go again? And I sort of thought to myself, it's going to cost money and time. And I said, no, I should have said, yes, let's go one more time. All right then. And that still haunts you, even though this pilot... I'm still, I'm, even though the pilot, again, is, is at home. Yeah, because I feel like it would have gotten picked up had I done that. It's totally irrational. But I felt like it was, the, it was the difference between starting the pilot, like, with an A and starting the pilot, pilot with a B plus. And that, and that, just because testing is so weird like that, that that change would have gotten me there. Wow. I'm, probably, I'm probably delusional. <laughs> <laughs> what line of dialogue do you most wish you had written? Um, the two movies that I've always wished I wrote, this has probably changed the reason, are, are, are Babe and Bound. So i got to figure out a line from Babe and Bound. Uh, uh, I can't think of one. Um, uh, I'm sh oh, uh, I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lean into the, the zeitgeist. I wish I would have written uh, uh, Walter White's I'm the One Who Knocks. That's a pretty good one to wish. What line or scene yeah. have you written? that is the most self-indulgent you have ever been? Um, that's very easy. Uh, I wrote a line, in, again, it, I, I, again, I don't think it made the cut, but, uh, and it's become, uh, it's become a joke with me, which is uh, in the Tangled script, there was some line uh, uh, or of, of stage direction which said, he looks up through a veil of blood. And I remember the producers being like, okay, the veil of blood's a little over the top. And uh, so I now, uh, with my assistants, will we'll turn to him and say, is this a little V.O.B., like veil of blood? So it's not a line of dialogue, but it's a line of stage direction that caused me to, to realize that I had maybe stepped over the line a little bit. And then what line or scene required the most restraint when you were writing? The original uh, opening of uh, the Miami medical pilot was an explosion on a cruise ship. Um, uh, and uh, upon getting the pilot picked up, we went to look for cruise ships that, which would let us blow shit up. <laughs> None of them would. So uh, the, 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 the uh, opening that exists in the real world was the restrained version of the cruise ship explosion that we never got to do. All right, and then the final question. Yeah. What is your go-to karaoke song? Uh, I can't sing. My wife is a singer, so my go-to karaoke song is the shortest... Uh, most, uh, you know what? Um, um, in uh, uh, um, in college, I did uh, 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 when I was an actor, I did a, a, a musical theater class, and I, and suddenly Seymour from Little Shop of Horrors. I think I made it through basically without embarrassing myself. So if I could find that on a karaoke machine, I'd go with that. All right then, <laughs> Jeff Lieber. Thanks for coming by tonight. Follow him on Twitter, folks, and and check out uh, Crash and Burn when it comes to to FX. Thank sometime you. Sometime in the future. Total pleasure.